Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the last scenario of the Edge of the Earth campaign expansion playthrough. We are at the Heart of Madness Part 2. Uh, in Heart of Madness Part 1, we were able to get two uh, seals activated and we have them in play. The rest we didn't get and they are removed from the game. They are not available anymore. And uh, we got two experience from the last scenario. The only upgrade to my deck is to uh, upgrade one Charisma uh, to the Chaos Pack. We didn't do any changes because the setup didn't instruct us to add any uh, Frost Tokens or anything like that. So that is the same as before. We have done the setup for this uh, scenario. Uh, again, the setup looks a bit different than in the booklet. In the booklet, the setup should look like this. But this, because I have a limited table space, I had to lay the map like so. And uh, there are the same spheres as in the setup, so the uh, middle location has adjacent locations as the sp sphere 1, then there's sphere 2, then sphere 3, and uh, then there are pylons, like so, so we can move uh, between these, or these, or these, or these, etc. So I try to play the correctly and move from correct locations to connecting locations but if I make many mistakes let me know in the comments below but this is because I have limited table space and I can't lay the map open as it is in the booklet. Um, well uh, there are, isn't much to talk about um, in, the, in the setup. I really haven't played this scenario before, so this will be a blind playthrough, so if you see any blatant mistakes, let me know in the comments. Uh, we are trying to save the world, and let's see how that goes, so... Um, one thing to mention is that in the some of the previous playthroughs I played the uh, partner assets incorrectly, I had their... Um, signature um, items in play also, now I'm playing them correctly. Then, of course, Force Learning, I was playing that incorrectly, but now I have been playing it correctly, and uh, it's still a good card, but those Takalili cards are really <laughs> annoying, because I have a lo lot of them in the deck. So, um, nothing much more to say. Uh, we should... Just start playing and see how this goes and if uh, Monterey Jack can save the world, so let's get started. Okay, we are ready to start and uh, our goal is to uh, collapse these mist pylons. Uh, no idea how that is done, but we'll probably find out. Uh, we can only move to these mist pylon locations by spending one group per investigator as a group. Uh, then, of course, we have these other locations. We start uh, from the most uh, near ancient facility location next to the gate of Nikwa, and um, we start from there. So let's draw our opening hand and see how this goes. So, one, two, three, four, five. We get Aeon Chart, uh, Lone Wolf. Uh, scout ahead and double Faustian bargain. I think it uh, keep one. No, uh, we'll uh, mulligan those three. So we get well weakness. We redraw weakness. We draw shortcut uh, sled dog and nimble. So not the best start, but we have to do with this. Just a quick shuffle to the mulligan cards, and we are ready to go. I think that is enough. Okay, so... First off, first action, I'll just play the lone wolf. 
he really want to get resources in to, uh, to play everything, then we will uh, use the Eon chart, uh, play the Eon chart also. That is a really good card to get a fast start in this scenario. The Doom Threshold is only three for the first agenda, so that is pretty low. And uh, uh, I think we will uh, investigate for our last action. So investigating... Uh, four versus two. The first token is minus one, so we grab one clue. And uh, that is our turn. No enemy actions, we go to upkeep. We didn't move, we don't get any monetary checks, uh, bonus um, resources or cards, so we draw two cards for forced learning. And we unfortunately have to pick the buried secrets and discard the scout ahead. So, buried secrets uh, revelation. Put buried secrets in the plane your threat area. If your location can be investigated, you cannot move except by scenario card effects. Action. Investigate if you succeed. Instead of discovering clues, discard buried secrets. If you fail, you may take two or to shuffle this in your deck. So that will be our first thing to do next round. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, and before we go to the next turn, we also get one resource. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. So the threshold is three, so pretty low. Let's see what happens. So first mythos. Uh, face uh, card is from the encounter deck trip chill so test will power four if you fail choose and discard one asset to control if you cannot take two damage instead I have uh, Eon chart and lone wolf so I think lone wolf will get yeeted so testing one versus four minus one uh, we lose lone wolf so no bonus uh, resources for us that is unfortunate. Uh, first action, I'll just play the Sled Dogs to get a buffer for damage and horror. Uh, then I'll use the Eon. No, uh, I'll investigate and uh, investigating four versus two, trying to get rid of the buried secrets. It is a frost token, so it's a minus three, unfortunately. Then a plus one. So, mm, uh, five. so we actually succeed. That is great. So we get rid of this. And uh, then I'll use the Eon chart. And I will investigate and move. So, uh, we will investigate 4 versus 2. It is a skull. It is a minus 1. So we succeed. We'll grab a clue, then we can get to move. I think I'm gonna go grab some more clues, so we'll move here. It is a vaulted corridor, so three shroud, one clue, and an action to move to other vaulted corridors. Last action, we'll just investigate over here also. So, four versus three. Cross token, not looking good. Minus two, so we fail, but nothing bad happens. But still, a lost action is a lost action. So, um, no enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, before that, uh, I'll grab a resource with Jack's ability. Then we'll get uh, two cards from Force Learning. I'll actually keep the sled dogs because. Can play two sled dogs to one ally slot, and then we can play either Leo or Jean for the other for the charisma slot. So we really don't necessarily need the rot of animalism, and that conflicts with the Leon chart. We also, gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, and counter card is. Ancient Evil, so we actually advance, so that is not nice. Uh, 
heartbeat uh, in emerges. Spawn one set aside copy of the nameless madness enemy at the mist pile nearest to, to an investigator. So we have these nameless madness uh, enemies. So we just I think they are all they are all identical. We just spawn one. And the closest is the, this mist pylon over here, so we'll mark that there. And let's look at these a bit clo more closely. So, the Nameless Madness is an entity in the Mirage. One fight, dash, one evade. Ancient one, an idol on elite, alert, massive, retaliate. The Nameless Madness cannot take damage forced after you successfully evade and or attack the Nameless Madness. For each point you succeed by exhausted. Here's a ready copy of the Nameless Madness. Okay, so we're uh, probably evading these a lot. Then, check your camp log. If the truth of the Mirage eludes you, uh, well, I have to check. We don't have that kind of uh, marking anywhere. Okay, well, uh, I think we don't have that uh, marked in our camp by lock, so we'll just. Uh, just ignore that, I guess. If I, uh, I'm playing that incorrectly, let me know in the comments, but. Let's see, uh, so we get the, that which has no name uh, forced uh, when one or more doom would be put into play. If there are any copies of the Nameless Madness still set aside, instead spawn one set aside copy of the Nameless Madness at the location nearest to an investigator without a copy of that enemy that is connected to a location with a copy of that enemy. Oh boy, that is quite hard to understand for me. So, let's read that again. Instead spawn... Uh, so, when one or more Doom would be placed into play, if there are any copies of the Nameless Madness still set aside, instead spawn one, set aside copy of the Nameless Madness at the location nearest to an investigator without a copy of that enemy that is connected to a location with a copy of that enemy. So, at the end of the round, if all 15 copies of the Nameless Madness are in play and not every missed pylon is collapsed, advance this agenda, so... <coughs> uh, I, as I understand, we have one... Uh, have th those enemies are like... Uh, Oh my god, this is so confusing. Um, one set aside copy of the Nameless Madness at the location nearest to an investigator without a copy of that enemy that is connected to a location with a copy of that enemy. Okay, so... So we just spawn them to different locations until we run out. Basically, if all the na nameless ma madnesses are in play, we advance. That. So that is the mythos phase done, finally. Uh, we'll go to the investigation phase, we should be ready. First action. We are just uh, trying to get this clue. I'm actually using the Eon chart, so investigate and move. We fail, we fail, but it is what it is. Four versus three. Minus one, so we uh, at least get this clue, then we'll move. Uh, I'll move to this mist pylon over here, so we have to pay one clue to enter. Mist pylon, two shroud, three clues. Uh, if you control the where we control the correct key seal and it is activated, you unleash the seal's power, place the seal on the mist pylon for the remainder of the game. Each enemy gets minus 
two fighter managed to evade while this that is pylon. Okay. So I uh, can do this as a free action, so I'll just place it over here. And uh, let's uh, double check our objective. So. How do we destroy these pylons? So there are three clues here. Um, I missed something in uh, this. So let me double check. So uh, the setup didn't mention anything, just. Uh, Trying to figure out this car, so we deal damage to this by getting close, but how much to this? I take damage. So this affects every missed pylon. Which is good, but mm, I'm missing something. Maybe it's on this card. No, uh, mm, no, okay, I'm confused. This is. Okay, so each revealed miss pylon can be attacked as if it were an enemy. Its fight value is equal to its shroud value and its health is equal to its blue value. So, yeah, it was on this card. So we need to get all of these clues. And uh, then we can uh, destroy them. So when there's no clues on them, they are collapsed. That's it. Pretty simple when you finally find the correct car but which has the rules so <coughs> and this eon chart is exhausted so first action we are evading this so uh, this nameless madness is a zero evade now so we basically succeed with anything except the uh, auto payload to cost tokens so we evade it then uh, we'll Investigate. Um, this is uh, four versus two. Uh, minus three. If you fail, draw the top card of the Kalil deck. We fail, unfortunately. So yeah. So we place one clue onto the location sucks and last action we'll try to investigate again minus two so now we get one clue and i'll actually play shortcut and the enemy face to move here and spend one clue and um, we don't have that one so we ignore that there is two clues there. A bit easier, uh, or easier one to destroy, but we still need to get those clues. So no enemy actions will go upkeep. We're ready up. Uh, we moved twice, uh, two locations away, so uh, we actually get to one card. Discard one card at random from your hand. Okay. Discord the sled dog, and uh, then we get the resource. Then we get the force learning. Uh, we'll grab the hiking boots, and we. Resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we would add a doom, but we'll spawn one of these here, and it spawns on us. I'm not actually marking these. I have to mark them somehow. 
Amén. Uh, okay. Encounter card is uh, Glimpse of the Unspeakable, Peril, Draw the Top Card of the Deck with Deck, Resolve it, Shuffle it into any Investigator's Deck instead of placing it at the bottom. Okay. And uh, if it's your turn, lose one action, otherwise lose one action during your next turn. So we shuffle this into the deck and lose one action. That is then uh, Mutas Face uh, will investigate. Now we'll play the hiking boots. Uh, hiking boots and uh, last action we'll investigate. Four versus four. Unfortunately, we are not getting any of our crew deck, so hopefully, we are able to. Uh, has some of these investigations and tests, but no luck. Minus two, we fail. Uh, no enemy action. Oh yeah, uh, instead of investigating, we are evading. <laughs> so I evade. Uh, so it is against zero, so we succeed. So we didn't investigate. Upkeep. Uh, everything ready. Draw. We didn't move, so we got to upkeep. Draw two cards. I'll pick. The inter report, and we gain one uh, resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We would add a doom, so we add another. I'll just take this closer. So let's just place them over here. So we spawn another one, and it spawns. Over here, I already can see how that this is gonna be a messy map in a moment. Uh, not on this, but there. Okay. Or we'll just spawn it over there. Okay. Uh, we get an encounter card, and it is a primordial evil. And you would deal any mother. Okay. So we're just gonna evade that one. I'm using Nimble. And we evade it. Uh, it is minus four. We are six versus one. So we succeed by one. So we get to move once. I'm moving another here. And this enemy comes with us. Second action, we are evading that one. There are two clues here, or three, so this is a bit easier. And as a free action, we have this seal, so we'll just do that, see what that does. If you control that seal and it is evaded, you unleash the seal's power, place the seal on this mist pylon for the remainder of the game. Whenever an investigator at a mist pylon would deal, he dealt one or more damage for horror, cancel one of that damage. Or well, that actually is good. Okay, so uh, this enemy is evaded. Okay, so we are just ignoring this because our Ignoring the damage, so I'm investigating four versus four versus uh, three. Yeah, so one off zero. We'll grab a clue. But yeah, we had to spend one clue to move here. So that is that. Okay, uh, that enemy hits us. We ignore one damage. Then it's enemy face. It hits us again. We ignore one damage again. Then we'll go to upkeep. Uh, that enemy ready is. We'll be moved. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll take our resource. Then uh, force learning. We'll pick the lock picks. And uh, we 
taken on resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We would add a doom, but we'll add an enemy. So we will add an enemy here, just placing them over the cars. <laughs> so this is getting pretty messy. Uh, encounter card is uh, walk, walk, walk. So we get to search for a penguin enemy. And it spawns as Aluh on us. Uh, first action we are investigating. Oh yeah, uh, we had to take one damage and horror, so uh, I'll take the damage and ignore the horror from last turn and do the same for the enemy face. Okay, uh, we are evading this damn enemy. Success. So this enemy is evaded. We will investigate. Uh, no, we'll play the lockpicks. Last action will investigate. Using the lockpick, so we succeed. And this uh, pylon is now destroyed, so that's a good thing. Uh, no enemy action. Um, actually, there is this enemy hunts here. Hits us for two damage, one horror. We'll ignore one damage. Take one horror. And that is that, so... Uh, we didn't move, we get two cards for force learning, we'll pick breaking and entering. Again one resource, and this is ready, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Nameless Madness, I'll place it over here. Encounter card is uh, Primal, Prim Primal Terror Test. Uh, willpower 2, this test gets plus 1 difficulty for each location away from the gate of each car. Oh, it's failed. I'll take 2 horror. I am failing this, so let's just test this. 0, we fail. Take 2 horror. Place 1 on sled dog, 1 on myself. And that is the mythos phase. Uh, investigation phase will evade this. We'll evade it. Uh, We'll evade uh, the primordial evil, so 5 versus 1, minus 4, we are not successful. We will, we will evade the nameless madness, we are successful. Seeing the pattern, uh, we are quite stuck. Oh yeah, there is. It's evaded already. Okay. Uh, last action. Uh, we can't move because of the damn penguin. That sucks. Yeah, well, let's not evade, because we are stuck otherwise. So, uh, I'm not evading the Nameless Madness, so we move back here and take one damage, one horror. I'll take damage and ignore the horror. Uh, enemy face will take one damage, one horror. 
Uh, I'll take the damage. Then that is it. Enemy, f no enemy actions more. I'll do that and we moved. I'll take a resource. We draw two cards. I'll grab the magnifying glass. Then I will get the resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, so this guy actually moved with us and okay so we spawn another one and uh, um, just spawn it over here then uh, encounter card this uh, nebulous miasma if we end our turn I'll just place it over here we probably will move. So first action, I will. Uh, well, first I'll put this into play. Then I will evade. Oh yeah, I've been forgetting. I have hiking boots. So six versus zero, minus three. We evade this enemy. Uh, then we will uh, intel report. Or grab these clues. We'll get to use the hiking boots. We'll move over here. And well, we can ignore this now. So this is collapsed, this is collapsed, and still need to collapse the rest, the three remaining. Uh, so here I will um, just evade. Oh uh, no, I will evade and investigate. Auto fail for the evade, and then I will investigate. I have well lockpicks, so I get the clue. I'll get attacked, so lock the slip dog. And last action I will uh, evade. Cross token. Zero, so we evade. So that enemy doesn't hit us. So this enemy hunts over here. Go to upkeep. Just ready, please. And uh, we moved. Uh, we'll draw. A, we get a card with on the right check. I've got a plan. Well, that deals with the primordial evil quite well, I think. Or max plus three, so no. And we get one resource. Uh, Ability. No, no, we don't. Then we get uh, force learning. Uh, we have to pick the weakness, so take one horror. Uh, and we get one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, these are ready again. We spawn another enemy. Spawn it over here. Then we get an encounter card. Ancient evils, so we spawn another one. Uh, actually, this one is closer. Then that is the mythos phase done. We will breaking and entering. So we add our agility. We evade and grab a clue. Second action will investigate. We'll grab the clue. I should have used lockpick, so I'll spend time. So this third pylon is destroyed. We still need to destroy this missed pylon and this missed pylon. And they both have enemies on them. So. 
this is hard. So last action, we just need to move here and start going around there. So this enemy engage with us. We'll uh, flip this over. There are two clues here. Pretty much don't need them. And uh, that enemy hits us for one damage, one horror. Now we can't ignore that. And this enemy hunts over here. Upkeep. Uh, we. Oh yeah, we could have used the hiking boots actually. So let's back up. I used the hiking boots and. Uh, we can try to evade instead of moving with our last action, so we are evading. Uh, four minus four, so six versus one. We still succeed, so we didn't take the damage and four. So a bit of a break there, but yeah. We ready. Uh, we moved. We'll take a resource. Draw two cards with force learning. I'll pick the. Courage. That is that, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We spawn another one. Now it spawns over here. Encounter card is uh, Blasphemous Vision, so uh, Shout of Guard. Okay, so we double trigger the Tekalili cards. If Draw them. Uh, okay. That is the middle space done. First action, uh, evade. Minus one. That is evaded. Second action will move over here. So we are in the second uh, sphere. So this is the second sphere next left so we'll move there we have to spend one two and uh, one shroud four clues so we are spending a lot of time here then we will evade skull we succeed Okay, enemy phase, nothing happens, upkeep, oh yeah, we moved, we'll get a resource, don't want to draw cards because of the Tekka Lily cards, force learning, we hit a Tekka Lily, uh, take one horror times two, and have to discard this, so uh, we are one horror away from dying, so this might end quickly, but it is what it is, so uh, four clues over there. I think Jack is coming to the end of his adventure. Unfortunately, not succeeding, but it is what it is. So, oh yeah, this enemy hunts over here. And um, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We spawn another of these guys. Uh, let's put it over there. We found the card is uh, the madness within. Test will power four. For each point you fail by shuffle the top card, take a little Looking for each card, you cannot shuffle, take one more. One versus four. I'm using that. Three versus four. Minus four. No help. One, two, three, four. So we are bound to blow up anytime soon. And that is the middle space. First action evade this enemy. Is evaded. Second action, investigate. 
the lock picks. We'll actually die if we stay here. We're not, we can't even investigate now. Uh, um, we'll have to move over here. And evade. Minus four. We are successful. Uh, enemy face. This enemy hunt is here. Oh yeah, we moved, so we get a resource. Then uh, that enemy moved. No enemy actions. We drop cards. Okay, so we lose resources. So all of the resources go. Then we get one. Resource. And uh, lose the hiking boots. And <coughs> that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We spawn another enemy over here. Encounter Caris, obscuring fog. So a little breather there, but not much. Uh, first action we will evade. The bed. There is a token over there. Second action will move. And uh, one clue here. We have to evade. So this is pointless, but it is what it is. So let's see. We evade. This enemy hunts over here. Uh, we moved, we'll get a resource. Uh, boss learning. Okay, take one damage times two. We are one horror away from dying and two damage away from dying. And we gain a resource. So that is that turn. Let's see if the next. Turn is the last one. We spawn another enemy over here, for example. Doesn't matter. There are three enemies left, so we are nearly done with the scenario on the way. And still two pylons left, so looking good. Encounter Cardis, Ancient Evils, so even less time. We spawn this over here. And uh, first action evade. Cross token. Uh, we still succeed against one. Minus three. Yeah, so we succeed. Then move over here. Have to spend one clue. Let's just at least see what this last pylon is. Okay, so we have a chance to. We'll just die here. Maybe. Okay, uh, using the lockpicks, investigating for the last action. We get the clue, destroy the pylon that uh, enemy hits us, but uh, we'll take one less horror. So we are one damage away and one horror away from dying, but we have destroyed four of the five pylons, so we are pretty close, but no cigar, I think. Uh, this enemy hunts over here. Sorry about the messy <laughs> map, but this map is really messy to play. I can say that. Um, uh, we move, we take a resource, uh, we don't want to draw secondary cards. But <laughs> we draw two, so discard cards, done twice, take horror, so we go insane. So, unfortunately, that is the end of the game. Um, Monterey right, Jack did quite well, considering uh, in which uh, situation we ended up. We were one pylon away from uh, succeeding, but let's see what happens. So, if no resolution was reached, if the investigator was defeated, your campaign log record, the nameless madness escaped. 
in the expedition team section of the Campbell Cross of every name. Each investigator is driven insane. The investigators lose the campaign. So that was the Edge of the Earth campaign concluded with Monterey Jack. We came pretty close to winning this scenario, but no cigar. So the epilogue is if somebody survived, we read something, but everybody's dead, so no point in reading. And that is the end of this campaign playthrough series. Uh, say, saying that this map is messy is an understatement, but it is what it is. I really hope they would make a bit more manageable uh, maps, because uh, my maybe my biggest gripe in the edge of the earth is that most of the scenarios have too many locations, just way too big maps. Um, I really like more compound and smaller maps when when especially playing solo and thinking of playing this four player. This would be a total mess to handle, and my brain's hurting. But uh, still. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, we didn't even advance that. So, yeah, that is the Edge of the Earth campaign playthrough. Uh, Monterey Jack went insane. The world is destroyed. I think on everything that mm, good stuff. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.